Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and welcome to the 1700 build. This build, I actually forgot to mention yesterday, that that build was 371 watts. Just like I said, very impressively, yes. And this one is even less, 321. What's even better is that the build I mentioned first, the first Ryzen build I showed, is actually only 321 watts. And, uh, oh, oops, I missed it. 230. I was looking at the wrong place. So, it's actually 230 watts, the first build. This one, the 1800X one. And that's very impressive. It, I don't know how I did that. I even threw in a fanless power supply. And, uh, that's... I, I would have never seen how to do that without Check this, this Ryzen coming out, so... Anyways, let's begin with this one. Of course, 1700X. I think this is going to be a great CPU for gaming. I don't know that much about it. I'll hopefully look into some reviews for it. You guys should probably do that before shelling out a thousand dollars on this this thing. So anyways, I chose the Master Liquid Pro because it looks good. It's blue and uh, black sleeving. I don't know, it just looks good. Asus Prime B350M this time because I didn't want to go with the Plus because that one was like a more higher end, more expensive. This one's a uh, micro ATX, I believe. Yes, and it's just has the good ports you're gonna need. Nothing really fancy. I th sort of threw up the the what's it called? The whole thing of blue this because I threw in red RAM, but I think that's gonna be fine. Then I went with the Western Digital one terabyte. An RX 480, 4 GB, Fractal Design Defined Mini C, since this is a micro ATX build, a 650 watt power supply, and Windows 10. Came out to be a thousand of that, whatever, and that's pretty much it. Now, one thing to mention the reason why I keep making overpowered PSUs in here is because I always expect a person to want to upgrade. He wants to put in a Wi Fi card, and well, maybe that's not the best example, but. He wants to upgrade his CPU later on. He wants to, you want to, whatever, put in a new graphics card. You're always going to want to upgrade or something on the future, so it's always good to make sure that you have a little bit more room on the end of your power supply. The reason why I chose this one is because it's cheap and it's micro ATX. Doesn't matter if it has a window that much, but anyways. If you guys have any questions about this build, please ask me that down below. Give it a like if you liked it, a dislike if you didn't like it, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or not like this. I am going to be soon showing you guys how I'm going to redo my current PC that I'm on right now. And uh, I actually built that not that great, and I see all my problems with it, I'm going to redo that build. I'll get it on recording. That'll be probably in, I don't know, th this month? I don't know, don't, don't expect it anytime soon, but that build will come out, and subscribe if you want to see that, guys. You can also follow me on Twitter and my link down below. I have some other stuff linked down below that I don't remember right now. Uh, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what to say. Bye.